Operation video of chassis suspension abnormal noise inspection equipment. Raise the vehicle above the inspection equipment. Place the two main testing equipment directly below the wheels to be tested. Place two support aids directly below the other two wheels. Lower the vehicle. Ensure that all wheels are positioned in the center of the equipment support tray. The weight of the vehicle will cause the equipment to automatically locate. Ensure that the car is 10 centimeters away from the lift. Fully supported by equipment. Lock all external expansion support pads of the equipment in sequence. Ensure that each support pad is in close contact with the ground. Adjust the ratchet switch on the left side of the wheel to the outside direction. Rotating ratchet wrench. Close contact the wheel support pad with the ground in sequence. Connect the short power cord of the device to another device in series. Connect another device S long power cord to 380V power sockets. Attention! The power socket must be connected to three live wires and grounded. To avoid equipment tripping. After turning on the power, the device power indicator light is constantly on. Press the green start button. The device control panel is powered on and lit up. When the digital frequency appears on the display, press the green run key. The device begins to operate at its current frequency. The frequency knob can be used to control different operating frequencies of the equipment. Start simulating road bumps to check for abnormal chassis suspension noise. Other buttons on the control panel. Remember not to debug settings without permission. This will cause changes in the operating parameters of the equipment. Causing abnormal operation of the equipment. If setting is required, it should be done under the guidance of the manufacturer. End of inspection. Press the red shutdown button. The equipment is powered off and stops working. If encountering an emergency situation, the emergency stop button can be pressed. Cut off the working power supply of the equipment. When the device needs to be restarted, need to rotate and flip the emergency stop button. Only then can you unlock it for the next step of operation. End of testing. Lift the vehicle to the wheels and away from the equipment. Loosen the outer expansion support pad in sequence. Adjust the ratchet switch on the left side of the wheel to the inside. Release all wheel support pads in sequence. Unplug the device power. Remove the device and reposition it. Pull out the wheel lock pull ring to adjust the direction. The wheels are locked and cannot rotate. Operation ended.